This morning on Today's Style, taking it to the street. There is a new trend in the fashion world, and you don't have to head to the mall for it. High fashion is coming to a street corner near you, and it's on four wheels. NBC's Kristen Dahlgren takes us on a tour. Forget the food. It's all about the fashion. Going from runway to roadway. In the past few years, the U.S. has seen more and more mobile boutiques roll onto city streets. From the newly opened Top Shelf in San Francisco to the accessory heavy East Coast Style Liner, fashion trucks are leaving their mark. This is a great way for retailers and even designers to not only get their brand out, but also go to the customer and do it in a cost-efficient way. Inspired by the food truck revolution in Los Angeles, Janine Romo and Stacey Steffi started their own boutique on wheels early last year. We, we really do truly believe that fashion's everywhere. It's not just in the big cities. It's not just in the hip neighborhoods of Los Angeles. It's everywhere. The LA-based business moves to a new area almost daily, using social media to help shoppers find them. If we were going to rent out a space, it was a lease. We wouldn't be able to do as many things as we could, and this was affordable for us. Yeah. With clothes from local designers to accessories made by Romo herself, no item is more than $42. There's even a small dressing room to ensure a proper fit. That is so you, right there. It's not just the small stores. Big name brands are revving their engines, too. Designer Cynthia Rowley first drove her converted shipping truck in 2009. This spring, clothing brand Madewell packed up an Airstream and embarked on a 14-city road trip with stops in New York, Boston, and Chicago. One of the things that we love is our denim, so we really wanted to bring that to the customer and really show off um, the best of the best of our assortment. When you have a store that's just on a corner of a street, you're waiting for that customer to come into your store. When you have a mobile truck, you're actually going to that customer, and that's what really works. <laughs> Definition for fashion forward. I'm not a very traditional person, so I love it. It's actually a really cool idea. I like it. Coming soon to a street near you. I'm so glad you guys came in. For today, Kristen Dahlgren, NBC News, Los Angeles. And here with more fabulous fashion truck finds is today's style editor, Bobby Thomas. Yes. Good morning to Good you. Good morning. I love, love, love this idea. It makes a lot of sense in this economy. Yes. It's so personal. It's a great way to actually get a store if you couldn't invest in a brick and mortar. And I have to thank a truck in Portland by Lodica. It's the Double Decker Dress Bus. Thank you. They don't know this yet, but the dress I'm wearing is one that they sent for um, a mannequin, and I've now bought it. <laughs> You're so a human mannequin This now. is the human mannequin. I love this. It's kind of fun because you're not going to find this in every store in the It's a vintage dress. And actually, vintage is big with some of these. You've got, yes. You mentioned ones in Portland. That's what I really love. A lot of this first grouping of trucks, there's another one in Portland. Wanderlust. Do you have down, if we drive down to Dallas, this is the vintage mobile where he has dresses, designer sunglasses, YSL. So fun. Even in Boston, you've got Habernash Vintage. And what's great about all these trucks is you don't have to sift through a big thrift store. It's curated. They've actually done the work for you. And it's still affordable. Some of these accessories are so fun. Just a couple dollars. I love it. It's true because a lot of times you go to the vintage store, it's almost too overwhelming. But this is yeah. by necessity. This one showed up on my doorstep. And what I love <laughs> is I've put everything online today because even if it's not in your neighborhood, you can still shop on their website and get it sent to you. Now, there's, it's not just vintage. We also have some current trends. Yeah. This is a, a truck in Boston, GreenStreetVault.com. Yeah, what I love is there's something for the guys. You can get, you know, everything from really quirky t-shirts to zip-ups and caps. And for the ladies who are looking to go maybe from the classroom to the club, um, this is a great San Francisco bus called Top Shelf. And they say it's where their fashion rolls, which was a really cute idea. This is a vegan pleather jacket, which is fantastic, only $100. The dress 40 
stylish, a lot of, again, affordable items. And here in New York City, of course, the home of fashion on the streets here, this is Style Liner, and they have got great accessories. So you can bump into this on your way home from work here and pick up this great clutch to go out. I love the jewelry and some really interesting totes. And it's not just clothing and accessories, shoes. I love this idea. Yes. Shoe trunk. I'm a shoe girl, so I have to say this is from Austin, and bootleg, this woman sent me a curated selection of shoes to show off, and I have to say, each and every one of them were so fun and unique. This is not your average shoe you find in the store. They start at 75 some go up to 1200 but what's great about that is that she's really finding these innovative designers that don't make 100 pairs, and her catalog, she made it out of a newspaper. I love this. And, and another personal favorite, yeah. this is um, in L.A. They may be the only Bath & Beauty drop at this point called Bath Petals, but she really said, this is disruptive marketing. I didn't want to wait on the shelf. She's in a few Whole Foods, but she said, you know, we started this as a promotional vehicle six weeks ago, yeah. and now we're sticking to the flagship store in six wheels, and we're going to find her. Something so, for everyone yes. on wheels. Bobby Thomas, thanks, and I want to mention you've got more fashion advice on today.com. Yes. Coming up, summer movies for the whole family, and they're worth your money, too. But first, these messages. Every day, 